Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away, and may the fourth be with you. Today we're going to be doing part 11 of Centauria's and Panini Collections, Build the Ferrari F40 Competizione. See, look, I put my Darth Vader shirt on today. I thought we need to be Star Wars themed, even though we're not doing a Star Wars themed video. But uh, today we're going to be creating the engine block. And uh, we are going to need some parts that we worked on in the last issue. Or issue 8, I think these came in. Uh, looking just like that. Remember we actually put the tops of these on. And then the tops that I mean are these here. Obviously I've taken them off now because they didn't actually want them on at this time. So uh, that's me jumping ahead again. But we're going to be putting all this together. Now the pack that they gave us in this one is really heavy. So uh, I'm guessing all of this is metal in here. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, and what we're going to do, very quick actually, we're just going to piece the, uh, the bits that we had from uh, issue 8 uh, and put them to the block that we've got in this issue here. And that's all there is to do in that issue. Now in the next issue, uh, we're going to be doing some uh, transmission components by the look of it and some gearbox stuff there as well. So uh, that's coming in issue 13. I do know that issue 12 is in the shops at the moment, uh, but I know all you subscribers, you've raced ahead to God, issue 16, I think you're on at the moment. Um, I haven't had any deliveries and it's getting really concerning. So I've got five things out outstanding i've got the ecto one that should have came on friday the bismarck that should have came on the 17th of april god knows where that is uh, the terminator the spitfire i mean they are they were posted on 24th of april we're in may now so i'm expecting them any day now now tomorrow's live stream if we haven't got any of that coming through i am going to be working on the victory uh, but mrs welder wayne did say rather than do planking because i did a live stream on twitch yesterday the planking if you missed that um if you don't follow me on twitch i'll put the details of my twitch link down there and then you can go over to twitch and watch uh, yesterday's live stream that video will come up soon uh, but i think we're going to build a cannon i think that'd be quite a good thing and we'll do the airbrushing and stuff on the live stream tomorrow if i don't get another delivery i'm hoping if we do i will be doing an ecto one tomorrow but who knows everything's up in the air at the moment during this lockdown i hope to keep in safe let's get cracking on part 11 okay so let's open this pack up and see exactly what we've got in it as i said it feels really heavy which means it's going to be all metal parts. And you know what this build's like. We get them uh, really made up well. Right, we've got some screws first. We've got the T and we've got S, looking like that. Uh, we've got this cover here, which is plastic. It's in its own bag, but this one is plastic, looking just like that. Nice details on there, looking like that from underneath. And then this, which is all wrapped up, is going to be metal because it's blimmin' heavy. So I'll get this open. Wow pretty impressive look at that just show you that on the top camera but wow <laughs> this is going to add just some weight to the engine but that's looking like that like that underneath okay so the first thing we need to do is just take the two bits that come in this section the metal bit and the plastic bit holding it this way around with this section coming out and holding this section uh, with this sort of like detail there they're just going to go together in the two lugs there like that so when they're together to get this in it's going to look like that from that side and that from that side i did have to study the pictures a little bit to just figure out what way around this actually goes in here uh, but we're going to need to put this into place so the only way to get screws in here are through the holes in the top and the screws that we're actually going to be putting in here are the t screws so i'll get them out here and this is where it's going to be really handy to have a magnetic screwdriver which i have got here this is my PHO screwdriver as usual. And once again, this is available in my Amazon store. Uh, but it's got a long, uh, wow, look, you can see how magnetic it is. I've put one of my uh, super glue pins to it, stuck to it. Um, but yeah, these are available in my Amazon store. You can get these for yourself. So this is the first one going in here. Nice and tight. There we go. And then we'll put the second one in. God, I didn't realize how magnetic that actually was. I'll tell you why. It's been sitting in my drawer at the moment next to one of those neodymium magnets that I was using for Vincent. I've got about six of them. So this thing could probably pick up me. Uh, oh God, it's even trying to stick to my scalpel. <laughs> anyway, look, that's that section completed. Now holding that this way round, so I'm holding it with this section here facing towards me, we need to put on the sections that we had from part eight here. Now when they go on, I'm just gonna put them on gently and not put them in just so you can see the orientation of these put this one on as well just like that they're going to fit flat on here but the orientation is if you can see here we've got some circle sections here they're going to need to be 
into the middle section towards the middle section of the engine here so if the engine's that way around this is how they're going to sit on there obviously you also know it's in the right way because the manifolds are going to be over this side and this side here now this is where we're going to need the s screws we're going to need two each side for this put these on just like this I'm just going to take one side off because we're going to be trying to screw this into here. Now we're going to be screwing them at an angle, which is going to be quite interesting. So I'm using my screwdriver here, trying to get a bite on it to get these in. And I can see this being really hard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that out and we're going to work the problem. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm loading my pin up with oil. So I'm just going to put some oil in these threads here to put these in. Just realised another way to realise what way they go in, quite an easier way, once I put lots of oil in here, is obviously there's an L on there. And then just match it up with the L that's on this one here. So putting it back in again. And then hopefully this screw will go in better. But you're going to need some weird old tool to get this in at an angle. But... If I put it in at an angle, there we go, it's a little bit better. Screwing it down. The oil certainly helps out there. I'm just gonna put one in first and then I'm gonna put the second one in, then we'll figure out a way to tighten this up. This is a very weird design, this one, to try and get this locked in. Okay, we're gonna put this one in just at an angle. So it's gonna go in. The most important thing is to make sure that the it's actually lined up straight away before you tighten it down that way the threads should put it into where it needs to go now that one's imperfect here's the second one that's going imperfect as well and then just tighten it up as tight as you can do it and i'm telling you this isn't easy i'm pushing really hard with my screwdriver because i don't want to round the heads but that as you can see is in lovely with no wobble in that at all that was hard but they're in at an angle there as you see as long as you start it off okay it shouldn't be a problem but someone did actually warn me about that so uh, i'm glad you did but that is imperfect let's do the other side so once again i'm just going to drop some oil into these screw holes here the oil i'm using is just a general purpose three in one oil because I want these to slip in when I do that to make it a little bit easier, even though that is quite hard. Making sure we put this in the right way. So it's gonna go in that way. Looking good, and then we're gonna try and get these last screws into these holes at an angle again. Oh my God, this really is tricky. I'm glad I'm using the PHOs though. I have to say the PHO screwdriver is perfect for this, but uh, you just need to sort of bend the screw just to start it up so that it's actually getting the thread properly in there, like this one is, and then it will go in fine. But I'm not putting it in all the way. I'll do the same with the other one. I don't know if you can see this on the close-up. I'm gonna try that again. So when I'm putting the screw in, I'm holding it there, bending it down, and then trying to get it in there so it's gonna go in straight. Just like that. You know it is because it actually starts screwing itself quite easily. Then the fun comes, trying to tighten it up as tight as you can get it. That one's in. Do this side. That one's in. And there you go. None of them are moving. Nice and tight. I don't think they're ever going to come out again. <laughs> I'll tell you that now. Uh, but that is now complete and that is all we have to do in that issue now there's no way i'm going to uh stop this episode without putting these bits on now we probably have to do this on the next one but uh, i want to put them on now just so you can see how they're going to go kind of like what way around do these go i'm guessing it's probably going around that way it does it goes around this way so just like that so that's how the top is going to go on that one i do stress we don't do this bit yet so uh it just goes on like that and then the same on this side here that's probably what's going to happen in the next issue but that is what that's going to look like when we actually put these on i've only put them on loosely 
that's really impressive and i'll tell you what the weight of that is something else so there you go that's all there was to do in that issue nice quick issue but uh, i really do love the uh, quality of that i do understand we're gonna have some fiddliness coming in issue 16 but obviously there's a long way to go for that i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe and enjoy star wars day take care and before we get to the patreon card guess what just arrived check out this picture so tomorrow, I think we will still do the canon on the live stream. I like the idea of that, and that will probably go on for about an hour rather than the Ecto-1. But we are going to have an Ecto-1 video in the morning. Anyway, listen, take care.